Hey everybody, this will be part three in a Twine interactive video series. Last video we talked about some basic ways for importing or using images in Twine. Uh, so from the last video I just did the same thing with this Bob character. I found another image of a boy character and put the same code in there. Uh, so that way when I hit play and I go into Bob, now I have Bob's character. So Ned, uh, Bob, and Sally. There you go. Uh, I made it consistent, so I made all three of the height for each one of these at 600. So that way, all three images are the same exact height. So something else we can do is create uh, a background image uh, for our entire twine. So basically, every page right now has a black background. We can change that so uh, every page has uh, the same image background. Uh, and then another video we'll come back and talk about how to make adjustments to each individual page uh, using taglines. Um, so uh, some of the basic code uh, to make things interactive can be done within each passage but if we want uh, a code to adjust and change something over the entire twine like every passage then we need to use what's called the uh, style sheet. So I'll go over and click on my name for my story I want to use edit story style sheet. So this is what's called a cascading style sheet. And we're going to follow CSS uh, code here. Um, and basically it means there's the hierarchy. Whatever this is says in this window, it's going to affect every page. So what we're going to do is uh, change the background to an existing image that we have found online or whatnot. So uh, I've uploaded this dark night background image. Looks like that. Okay. Uh, I've made sure I've shared that um, so that it's public on the web okay. and then I can right click and choose get shareable link and then now what I can do is input the code to change the background image so um, if you follow this code it should work so I'm going to type in tw uh, dash story uh, we're going to do a curly bracket, which is shift, straight bracket, shift the key to the right of the P key, curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter, type in background dash image. It should color coordinate everything for you. I'm going to do a colon. And I'm going to type in URL. I'm going to do parentheses. Uh, and typically I like to do the beginning and end and then go back inside and then we're going to do two sets of quotation marks or one set of quotation marks and then I'm going to go back inside that and paste in my URL so control V. I need to change the word open to thumbnail okay. and after this line of code I'm going to add a semicolon. I need to tell it how to cover the page so we're going to do background, hit enter, and do background dash size, colon, and cover, semicolon after that. I'm going to return, and then I'm going to do end curly brackets, or shift straight bracket. So there's our code in order to change the background to an image. Um, you need the link to the image, and then this code will be put in there so that everything will work. I hit control zoom uh, so maybe you can see it a little easier there what the code is okay. so that is in the style sheet so this way if I hit play it's going to put that image in the background of my entire uh, page here uh, entire twine the only thing you have to worry about at this point is to make sure the text is still easy to read we'll come back when we adjust the text color to kind of correct that so my text is kind of difficult to read in the areas because I have some light text on light background. But that will put the image background uh, on the background for every page. That's using the style sheet. All right, so another thing we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to uh, use images as buttons. So maybe as I get into each Ned, Bob, or Sally character, I can give the player two or three different choices of what to do next, what Ned does during his day. Um, so what I've done is I uh, found some images online of different buttons 
Uh, it's really the same button, and I just change the color of the button with each image. So there's a yellow, there's a red, there's a purple, there's an orange, green, and blue. So I'm going to use like three of these uh, to be able to pull them in uh, to use as an image. So uh, each one of these, once again, needs to be shared so it's public. Yeah, so public on the web. And then I'm going to right click on this yellow button and choose Get Shareable Link. Go back to our client. And in Ned Characters uh, Passage, uh, I'm going to say click a button to determine what Ned does today. Dot, dot, dot. Let's return down twice. And we're going to follow the same code we did earlier. Uh, we're going to do left angle bracket IMG SRC and the enter button. We will paste in our code. This is from Google Drive, so we need to change the word open to thumbnail. Uh, we'll see what the size it is as default. We're gonna do a right angle bracket to close out that curve. That makes it into an image, but not into a button yet. So what we need to do next is just change this code so that it makes it into a button that takes us to another passage. So to do that, we're going to go back to our command that we did to create a new button, and that is to use two left, whoops, left straight brackets. And uh, since this isn't text, we need to tell it what kind of name we want the next passage to be. So we use this code here. We're going to do space um, so dash the right angle bracket again and we'll call this one Ned yellow button okay and then we're going to end this by doing two right straight brackets whoops that's curly so right straight brackets all right let's test that out all right uh, so that created the new page properly to see if that image will load story continues Ned and my yellow button's down there. I can hover over that button to see that the icon will change to a finger, uh, which or a hand with a pointer finger. So that means this will take us to the next button. If I click that, we're into the next button. All right, my button's a little big, so uh, I'm going to scale it down some. So let's close this out. We'll go back into Ned character, and then at the end, image right there before we finish the. Actually, undo that so I don't mess with the code. Spacebar, and we'll do height um, 50. I'll try that. Let's see. Height equal quotation or quotation uh, 50. So we'll see that. And let's just play. Go back through. Whoops! So we messed with the code somehow. So our, that's what it looks like if the uh, image link is broken. So let's see if we can go back, perhaps make sure we need to relink this. Okay, and now let's try. Nope, link is still broken. All right, um, so let's see, height 50, yellow, that should be right. Let's go back and look at, well, we can look at our example up here. I don't think it has an issue with those two underscores there, but it might. All right, let's take this out again. Let's just make sure that's working properly. Nope, so my, my link is not working properly, so it wasn't the addition of that. So something is going on with my code. So let's see, then the yellow button, that's all right. Uh, we can redo this part again. So left angle bracket image source equal. Type in the code. Put that right angle bracket in there. Change open to thumbnail. Let's go test it again. There we go. All right, button is good. Um, got that back working. Close that. Um, and let's try this again. Height equal 50. Mm -hmm. 50. All right, 
No, it's good. And there we go. Okay, so that's just too small. Uh, but that shows you how we can change the button size. So now let's just go where our code is right. Uh, let's do 100. So it's twice that size. And we'll hit play. Ned. There we go. That's a pretty good button size. What will Ned do next? Okay. Um, so we can come in here and add a couple more buttons. So basically what we can do is copy this entire code, but then so I'm copying and pasting it underneath. And then we're going to change Ned yellow button for the second one to red button. And then we'll say blue button. Okay. Uh, we just now need to go into our uh, Google and find our red button link, get shareable link. Go back into Chrome. Uh, paste this new link in there and change the name to thumbnail. Okay, and let's go find our blue button. Get your link. And paste this in here. Go change this to thumbnail. There we go. We actually missed our image. Source equal. All right, there you go. All right, so that'll create two other passages red, yellow, and blue. Let's go in and test. There you go. So there's yellow, red, and blue. And each one of these should lead to the next page. So that'll determine what the, um, the by clicking on the button, to go to another page. So that's how we can use an image as a button. These images have a blank background, they're a PNG file, so the background's blank, so the only thing we see is what the button is. All right, so that's some secondary ways to adjust images. That'll wrap up this video. The next video we'll come back and we'll talk about how to uh, add uh, flat colors to the background and to change text in uh, the Twine story as well.